Now, when we come to multiplying and dividing the inequality by some number, again, we have the same principle. You can multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by some same positive number, and the inequality still holds true. Notice I had to put here, uh, here positive number because something different happens if you were to multiply it by a negative number or divide by a negative number. But we're not going to deal with that case in this lesson at all. Okay? Let me try to now justify this rule. Let's say we have an inequality. And here's a negative 2 is less than 3. Negative 2 is here and 3 is here. And then if I multiply both sides of this by some positive number, let's say I multiply both by 2, then I would get negative 4 and 6. And yes, the inequality still holds. Let's say that I would take this original and divide both of them by 2. Then I would get negative 1, and then over here 3 over 2. Okay? Yes, the inequality still holds true. When you have a negative number here and positive number here, and you're multiplying or dividing, these numbers will always stay negative, and on this side it will always stay positive. So the inequality surely will still hold true. Like this one, for example. I start out like this. If I multiply both of these by some same number, then this one will go here, this one will go here, right? If I divide them both by something, let's say I divide them both by 3, then they will both, both move closer to 0, but, but they will still stay this way, negative and positive. Here, let me examine this case, if I have two negative numbers, negative 5 and negative 2, okay? Negative 5 is less than negative 2. What if I multiply both of these numbers by something? By 2. So I get negative 10 and negative 4. Well, it is still this way. The inequality still holds. Both of them move this way, but this one moves way more, okay? This one moves to negative 10, this to negative 4. Let's say that I have these two numbers and I divide both of them by same, some same number. Then both of them move towards the 0. They get, you know, the absolute values get smaller. But still, this number will not go over there, okay? It will stay on the left side of this number, okay? No matter by what number I might divide them. Or if I multiply them and the absolute, absolute values get bigger, they will still stay in the same order. They will not mix their orders, right? So, the inequality, how they were, will still hold true. And so that is why we will, we can multiply or divide the inequalities by some same number. As long as the number is a positive number, the inequality will hold true. Here, 2x less than 8. Okay, think of it as being an equation 2x equals 8. You would divide both sides by 2. So that's what I do here too. Divide both sides by 2. I get less, I get x less than 4. Very simple. Over here, I divide both sides by... By what? By 5, right. That way x is alone here. Greater than or equal does not change. And then here, negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Here is a 2 thirds times x. So this one, I want to actually multiply. Not divide, but multiply. I want to multiply by the reciprocal of this. Multiply by 3 over 2. And that is allowed in an inequality, like I mentioned. So we get 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 times x. Greater than... 3 over 2 times 12. And then over here, these cancel, 2s and 3s. So x is left alone, and here greater than. And this here is 36 divided by 2, which is 80. Lastly, we will look at inequalities where we need to use two steps to solve them. And they work just exactly like the two-step equations you have already solved. Let's take, for example, this one, 2x plus 1 less than 5. My first step is to get rid of this plus 1. It's my marginal notes. And so I subtract 1 from both sides. And I get 2x alone here. Just write less than. Then 5 minus 1 is 4. And the next step, you can see, is easy. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x less than 2. This one... I want to get rid of this negative 2 here, or this minus 2. So I will add 2 to both sides as my first step. And then I have 3x. On this side, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. 
And now divide both sides by 3. So we get x is greater than negative 1. And here, again, I want to have x isolated on this side, so I will add 5 to both sides. Then 6x six is, six is alone here. And then add 5 here, so we get 5, 0 plus 5. And then divide by 6. And we get x alone and greater than or equal, and here 5 divided by 6, which is, of course, 5 sixths. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.